to my own guy. I wonder. Hi there, friends of this Rogavish family. In today's video, we are going to be learning how you can grow your natural hair long, healthy, and strong, all with natural products from your kitchen, totally free of chemicals. Please stay on, don't go away. falling out your hair is getting shorter and shorter it is getting thinner and thinner you are confused you don't know what to do with it you've tried all kinds of remedies it's not working then this is exactly what you need a very simple treatment all natural no chemical that is what I do for my hair I use everything natural on my hair. So why not go natural? We will need aloe vera as the primary ingredient, which I grow, of course, to guarantee that it is organic. We will need a cup of rice. We will need olive oil coconut oil we will need okra which I also grow to be sure of its organic nature not forgetting a strainer and a blender I would like to begin by telling you a little about aloe vera and rice we are going to need the water from the rice so we will have to soak one cup of rice and one cup of water overnight so that some fermentation can take place. After soaking our rice in water, it's going to look something like this with clear water as you can see. But after 24 hours, the rice has been sitting in the water for 24 hours the water becomes cloudy like this as a result of fermentation that is taking place and releasing the nutrients. This cloudy water is an indication that the nutrients from the rice are now seeping into the water. This cloudy nature of the water, when your water becomes cloudy like this, it's an indication that you are extracting the nutrients, vitamins, and minerals from the rice water. Aloe vera, rice, and okra have been scientifically proven to be 
extremely rich in nutrients, not excluding vitamins and minerals. The vitamin and mineral from aloe vera, rice, and okra will be helpful in opening your hair follicles, helping your scalp to breathe. It will strengthen your hair and make it grow much faster. Some people might argue that you don't need to go through all of this. You can as well go to the pharmacy and buy vitamin pills. True, you can buy your vitamin pills if you want. However, these natural organics are much better than the vitamin pills you will buy out there in the stores because those vitamin pills do not get absorbed in your system immediately. The best way to absorb these vitamins into your hair instantly is to apply them in their liquid form onto your hair and scalp and the result would be instant. Go through the winter, go through any harsh seasons, my hair remains strong, elastic, and resistant to bad weather. These are the items that you need to keep your edges intact, to keep your hair elastic, so that when you come through your hair, you do not see a bunch of hair coming out. I added one cup of water to one cup of rice and let it ferment for 24 hours at least and this was the result the cloudiness in the water I am going to strain that water out in this other container where I intend to make my concoction so I'll take my strainer water and that is a magical secret you will not believe how much this is going to help your hair to grow the next thing to prepare would be the aloe vera From the middle of the aloe vera i'll put it inside my blender the next thing to add is some okra all we need is just about four to five of this the okra has also to be blended and strained to get the okra water which takes a lot of time so i did it in advance this is the okra water so we are going to put a little as well into the blender. Next thing is the rice water. We will add it in as well. I am going to add just a limited amount of the rice water to get the right consistency that will not drip down my body when I apply it to my hair. Depending on what is available in your area. You can use coconut oil, olive oil, castor seed oil, or argan oil. The olive oil is actually my favorite, so I will use it. We are going to add about two to three teaspoons of the olive oil. We are going to proceed to blend and mix them up in the blender. I think that's just right. There we go. 
a very perfect conditioner to help nourish your hair, your scalp, help your hair follicles to breathe, help your hair grow stronger, longer, luster, and healthy. We are going to take this and it's ready to use. So we have this beautiful conditioner. So we take what we need out of our concoction and the rest of it, we can preserve it in the refrigerator for future use. Now I have my conditioner ready to nourish my hair. My hair is already parted in sections. I am going to apply my conditioner in each of those sections, one by one.
just have a little dripping down that you can easily clean. And the purpose of this shower cap is to keep the heat concentrated so that the treatment can take effect in that heated environment. I'm going to further wrap my towel around that. prevent any excess liquids dripping down my body. I can now go around my house performing my house chores or I might choose to relax on my couch and enjoy one of my best movies. I will be back after two hours to take you through the next steps. my natural treatment to my natural hair. A treatment that serves as my conditioner, my shampoo, and the best hair food. Aloe vera has been scientifically proven to balance the pH levels not only in your scalp but also in your skin. Therefore, if you are having problems of acne on your face, this concoction that we did today is equally good as a facial treatment or as a treatment in any other part of your body where you are experiencing breakout. Aloe vera is rich in at least 35 vitamins, 75 minerals, as well as other nutrients that are still to be unveiled by research in the future. Aloe vera is like a panacea to most of the skin ailments and hair issues that you might face, including the falling of your baby hair, your edges, damaged hair, your hair breaking a lot when you put your comb into it, and your hair becoming very, very unmanageable as your best solution is aloe vera in mixture with these other ingredients that I have presented to you today. That is your solution. I went around my house. I did my house chores. I even had time to cuddle my baby. Let's find out what is going on in there as a result of all the hair food that we applied in my natural hair. Remember, this towel was intended to absorb the excess treatment dripping down my hair, and it did just that job. to comb my hair after the treatment plus you look at your comb there's little or nothing coming out in the comb your hair my hair has become very elastic and resistant my scalp has received nourishment and it's just good to go I will take the various sections, comb them out, then go into my shower and rinse them off.
time to go and rinse it off my hair feels so soft so nice so easy to taste through and that's just all you need for your natural hair. My hair is all soft again. It's very manageable. It's luster. My hair is just, it feels so good. Now, what is the next thing to do? There's always going to be some dead ends in your hair, and for some people, they may be hesitant to cut the dead ends. Research shows that if you do not trim the dead ends in your hair regularly, that could stop the healthy growth of your hair. So you have to check out for dead ends. And I can see I have some dead ends. As you comb it out, you will notice that there are certain dead ends. I have parted my hair in three parts. To make it easier to access every part, I could also part this one. I could also do more part parting, but it's not necessary. The two, the three parts are enough. But if I, if you feel that this is too big for you to handle, you can equally split it into another two sections like that. But for me, it's going to be too much work, so I'm just going to leave them in three sections. Now you take each section, you comb it out carefully, take each of the three sections, comb it out very well, then reach out for the dead ends. It's not going to be so much, but you still have to clip them off so that your hair can continue to grow evenly. You have to clip these dead ends off. By clipping off the dead ends, you are not interfering with the length of your hair. You are not reducing the length of your hair. You are just helping your hair to grow more healthily and longer by the next time you give it another treatment. So I'm going to clip off these dead ends right here. I'm going to look in the mirror to make sure I'm not cutting too much. That's practically all in that section. In the front, I'm going to do the same thing with the front. So I have more dead ends here. Which I'm also equally going to trim off. These are all dead ends that need to go. These dead ends are doing no good to your hair. You have to clip them off. If you don't clip these dead ends off, you are interfering with the healthy growth of your hair. Some people might think that if they clip off the dead end, they are reducing the length of their hair. No. You are just helping your hair to even out and grow more healthily. So I'm going to clip this off. As you can see, it's not a lot of hair. But you just have to cut it off. Now the third section, which I will come out again so that I can clip off the dead ends. You comb it out really well from the roots. You can see I'm going right deep into the roots. And it's all very manageable from that one secret treatment. So I'm going to find the dead end again of this. And I'm going to clip it off. And it's also not a lot of hair. This is all what I've clipped off for my hair. It's not a lot. That is just going to help my hair to do better. Now, the treatment is over. My hair is all manageable again. It's full, it's rich, it's healthy, it's most of all elastic. You can see how elastic it is. It's very elastic from that treatment. And as I told you again, beauty, the secret to natural beauty is consistency. If you do this once 
in six months. You are not nourishing the hair sufficient enough to grow. You have to feed your hair, you know. You feed yourself. You eat food every day. Your hair also needs to feed. You can just create a routine for yourself to treat your hair every once in a week. Oh. Sunday is the best day for me to treat my hair so that it looks good as I go out to work on Monday. You can pick any other day of your choice, but treat your hair at least once in a week. Don't wait for months. Why some people do not succeed with some of these natural treatments is because they are lazy to administer the treatment frequently as it is needed. You eat every day. Your hair also needs food. This treatment is just like hair food. It's sufficient hair food. It's just like you are feeding your hair. Like you are feeding yourself, you also feed your hair. You need to feed your hair so your hair can be healthy and grow like you want it to. If you don't feed your hair regularly, you don't expect it to do well. If you feed it just once in six months, you are not feeding it enough. Some people who have a hair treatment once in a year. The secret to this thing is consistency. If you are not going to do it frequently, you are not going to see the impact of the treatment. You are not going to see the positive result of the treatment. And that would be because you are not administering the treatment in the correct way. Your hair also needs food to stay healthy, grow healthy and be strong and resist bad weather. If you want your hair to stay this way for the entire week, when you go to bed, you have to do something about it. And this is what I do. I use yarn to manage my hair every night. Just five minutes is enough to do this. And I will show you what I do now before I go to bed. I part my hair every night in three or four sections. I take each section and I can twist it. If I want it to look curly the next day, I will twist the hair after moisturizing it a little with water. I will twist it that way. That is one way to make your hair a little wavy when you get it out in the morning. But if you want it really curly, this is what you will do. I take that section of my hair, I use yarn. I wrap the yarn around my hair in a very loose way and then I pull the yarn. Pull the yarn hard enough. Then tighten the end. In that manner. And then I proceed to wrap it around. That way, when I take out this particular bob, this is a bob. When I take this bob out the next day, my hair is going to be curly. However, when I take this twist out, my hair is going to be a little wavy. So in one of the sections in my hair, I have demonstrated to you what you would do if you want your hair a little wavy the next morning. Now this section is a demonstration of what you will do if you want your hair curly the next morning. However, in this section, I will demonstrate to you what you will do if you want your hair straight the next morning. I will use another piece of yarn. And I will start wrapping around that section of hair again. However, there's going to be a difference between this section that I want to be straight and the previous section that I want to be wavy or the other section that I want to be curly. Notice, when I did this section, I was giving loose wraps and I was keeping quite fast. However, with this section that I want to be straight, 
close. I'm going to make very close wraps around my hair. Yeah. The and yarn is wrapped around my hair very closely and very tight also. This will help my hair to straighten out by the next morning. And in doing so, I limit the need for use of blow dryers with the very intensive heat they have that also plays a negative role in the damaging of your hair. It's a matter of choice, whichever one you want. If you want your hair to be straight the next morning, you do this. If you want your hair to be wavy the next morning, you do this. And if you want your hair to be curly, you would give it loose wraps with the yarn and wrap the entire length of your hair around into a bob like this one. At this point, I do not want my hair to be either wavy or curly. I want my hair to be straight. So I'm going to take this out. This was just a demonstration. I'm going to take this out. You can notice it was already starting to get curly. I will take this out, comb it out again. And then to this section, I'm going to do the same thing that I've done here and do the same thing over here as well. rhinoceros of Africa some domesticated species of sheep some wild species of sheep as well the antelope and the deers this looks like the horns of all of those funny isn't it but it may look ridiculous but it's doing the job keeping my hair straight overnight that is how I am going to sleep tonight and the next morning when I get up I will be ready to do my favorite things with my hair whatever style I want and I'm ready for work like the reindeer and the rhinoceros beetles with these long horns in my head. Now it's time to unravel this plait and see what has become of my hair. So as you can see, my hair is coming out nice and straight. All nice and straight. The last one. My hair is all nice and straight the next morning easy to manage the next morning i'm going to try to style my hair one of my preferred way so i can go to work i'm going to make it really simple one of the styles i love most is wearing my hair up so what i do is simply this my hair is already parted in two it's soft and cozy I'm just gonna just gonna comb it a little. And this is how I go. I take my hair from the back. I start twisting it around like that.
So once my hair is all twisted up, I take my hair clipper like this one. I hold it down. And I organize the front of my hair in my preferred way. And you can use bubble pins like this to put them in place. So your hair is not flying all over the place. I'm using bubble pins to put pin them in place. And friends, how does that look? That is one of my preferred way of wearing my hair. Looking all unique, natural, full, neat, elastic, and just different. The things that grow naturally around your house, the rice water, the olive oil, and the coconut oil, are enough nourishment for your hair. Make sure you are not applying any chemicals on your hair. If you want the best results, make sure you are consistent with the treatment. Once a week at least. Give, do not underestimate the importance of some of these remains that you have in your kitchen. Make use of items that you no longer need in your kitchen. For example, we used okra. Some of them are just remains from your kitchen that you may no longer need and wanting to put them in the trash. You can transform them into something that can again become beneficial to you and particularly to your hair you can see how elastic my hair is i have to use bubble pins to keep my hair down it's very elastic if you pull it you can see how long it is all from that natural treatment thank you so much for watching and i will see you in another video hello there friends of this little garbage family again so how did we do did you enjoy the video if so, please do not leave without subscribing. Turn on the notification bell. Leave a comment. Share the video. Give us a thumbs up. And we will see you again in, in the, the next, next video. video. Friends of the Zero Garbage family, Yay. we love you. <laughs>